Hi, welcome to an Arduino step-by-step -step course by RoboJax. If you found this tutorial helpful, please thumb up and also click on the subscribe on the right side in the lower corner. I really appreciate it. Hi, welcome to another Arduino tutorial from RoboJax. In this tutorial, I'm going to introduce this VTI technology SCS60C angle sensor to measure the angle for any purpose that you have in robotics. This is around 90 and then it can, if I go this way, we can go minus 90. This is your minus 90 and it can go here to minus 180 and then uh, rotate this. So this is now zero. Angle sensing is one of the important aspects of robotics and in many applications you constantly need to know the position of uh, angle of some, the, some arm or some element in your robotics and this is very inexpensive way to do that. This can display between 0 and 180 degrees and the resolution is one degree, so you cannot have zero point something degrees. So with the resolution of one degree, this will work. And it is from VTI technology. And here, if you search AliExpress, you can get this SCS60C. They call it a tilt sensor. The chip is also sold. And here you can see it on Amazon.com. It is sold for $41, $36 at different prices. So this is now, for example, sold for $10, where you can get it in 40 days. And this is just a module without those adjustment pins. At different prices, you can get it on Amazon.com, even $766. But these, we can get it in 60 days, so don't expect it quick delivery. $32, for example, to here on eBay, $14.25 plus shipping or also just a chip. Now let me explain the module. The module is based on VTI Technologies uh, Angle Sensor. This is SCS60C1 with a sub-version of N100060 uh, and this is, uh, when you put it this way, we will have always at zero degrees. So. This will give you the angle. Um, based on angle, it outputs some voltage here where we can convert it to angle and read the angle. So the angle will be uh, between 0 to 180 degrees and the output will be between uh, some 0.45 volts to 4.5 volts. We'll be using Arduino to display the angle. And here we have two LEDs that when it is absolute flat, you can set this with these two variable resistor or potentiometer so you, these alarms are off here at the bottom we have l393 this is a, an op amp operational amplifier very precise uh, so this will turn these on at a specific value so you can detect if it is flat or not and the result of this will output as d1 D out one at this pin. This pin will go low when it is detecting it, and this side, when this LED turns on, it goes to D out two. This VCC will be connected to five volts ground. This pin will be connected to ground. So, for majority of the use, is this VO this pin? We are using this one to detect the angle. Length of this module is 34.2 millimeters. by 21.1 millimeters by 8.4 millimeters and here's the data sheet for VTI technology SCA60C and uh, this one also has sub uh, number N140 quadruple 060 operating supply is 5 volts and it consumes 2 milliampere G and if you put it flat it will be 0 
and if you put it this way, the arrow is on the surface, that would be minus G. I'll provide you the data sheet if, in case if you need it. Now here is a wiring diagram for this SCA60C sensor. From this side, from VCC, we are connecting one wire to 5 volts. And then the second pin is D out 2 using purple wire to analog 2. And then V out from the middle using blue wire is connected to analog 0. This pin, the green is a ground. Ground is connected using a green wire to one of the ground. You can connect it here or you can connect it on the other side. And then D out 1 using yellow wire, you can connect it to analog 0. I have connected D out 1 to analog 1 and D out 2 to analog 2 and V out or V0 to analog 0 so you don't make mistake. And here is the explanation of wiring. We have here VCC, this is connected to 5 volts of Arduino. And then uh, we have uh, the, from this side the second pin is ground, ground is connected there. So these two pins will supply power. And then here at the middle V out, V out is the one that you will get you the angle, that's a blue. Blue is connected to analog zero. These two, D out one and D out two, this orange and this purple, are connected to here analog 1 and analog 2 which I'm going to demonstrate it and if you don't need it you can remove this uh, the out 2 and the out 1 because these are just for turning on and off some alarm if you need now let me explain the code we are defining a constant integer pen so you put the other uh, pen that you're using and then this is a variable that is holding the angle. Do not change it. This is angle compensate. I will demonstrate it later. If you want to change it, the zero instead of zero, you call it 20 degrees or 90 degrees or 180 degrees. You can add this and the angle will be reflected accordingly. And these three lines are for D1. We are defining D1 pen analog 1 here and a state of D1 and also delay. This delay time is the time if uh, the alarm is detected or the device is destabilized and the alarm is on, you can keep it waiting for a certain time. If you want to add that time, add it here and the same we were defining the pin 2 in here. Then we put here the title which will be displayed on the screen here. As you can see, alarm angle, alarm D1, alarm D2. This is the text. It's coming here. If you're using it for some robotic purpose, you can say uh, towards arm or towards the machine or up or down, whatever. So it will be displayed and this angle, if it is and some angle, you put angle. If it is position of something at certain way, so you can change the text. Otherwise, just leave it as is. Inside the setup, we are defining the serial monitor with 9600 baud and then this is printing just a text and and inside the loop we have three functions these are functions that i have defined at the bottom of the code which i'm going to explain get angle we run this this will get angle and when this runs it updates the angle when this runs it updates the alarm one and with this when this runs it updates the alarm two these are the variables that we have here d1 state and d2 state so this is these two are updating that and this is just printing the text title and this is the angle that we do something for example and this is now printing it but if you want to do something you can put your F condition here for example F angle is for example greater than 45 and then do something or less than something whatever comparison that you want you can take action for your angle and this is just printing state of D1. This is text. This is a colon. This text is coming from the array at the top, which I mentioned. And here, get angle is a function that is taking care of it. It reads the analog pen, which is from 96 to 927. From 0 to 1023 is the analog input values. But this device outputs 
with the minimum it outputs 96 and with the maximum it outputs 927. I've experimented with this and these are the values. If yours is a little different, you can move it and read it and then change it accordingly. And this is, and I said if it is minimum 96, so that will be at nine, minus 90 degrees. When I put it at minus 90, that's what I read. And when I put it at 90 degrees, I read this one. So we are using the map to convert these two values to angle and the result of calculation will be here as an angle. Which this is a global variable that is defined at the top of the code. This D1 alarm is using analog read. It's, it's measuring the voltage and we call it V out as a float and we check if it is below 0.5 which means alarm is triggered. So we set D1 state high and then there is a delay. This was the delay. Initially it is set at zero but if you want to do something as I mentioned you can set it at the top of the code. So this uh, in case if you want to apply some delay it will work. If you set it at zero it will just quickly pass. Otherwise we set the alarm as low and the same thing for D2 alarm exactly the same thing except it, except it reads the D2 pen and state 2 will be updated and that's the complete explanation of code. And here is a demonstration. As you can see, when I try to keep it flat, we can get zero degrees on the serial monitor here that you see. And I can tell that it can go and here around 90 degrees. So this is around 90 and then it can if I go this way, we can go minus 90. But we can adjust this and fix it for our purpose. For example, if this is zero and this is your minus, you can do so. Here on the compensate, we can put 90. And let me upload it. And now, this is now your zero. You can bring your zero here. And this is 90. And this will be 180 degrees. You can change it to minus 90. And here, this is your minus 90. And it can go here to minus 180. And this will be your zero degrees. So whichever way you want, you can adjust it or if you're installing it in some angle, you also you can do so, for example, if, if you have already 20 degrees inclination, so you can put 20 here. And and here that 20 will be your zero. And here that 20 would be your almost zero. It's hard for me to hold it. And then based on that, you can go to any angle that you want. The two pins that we have here, these are alarms and you can adjust your flat angle, for example, using these two potentiometer to keep it flat. You just rotate it and, and if you rotate it, this will not uh, turn on at this value. Let's say zero and then uh, rotate this. So this is now zero and now it shows an angle here. So at zero we can keep, keep it off. And here if you want to get the values, when, when the alarm runs, as you can see, 2 is 0 because the light is 0. And if I put it now, as you can see, D2 is on. 2 is now, it shows 1. And if I go this way, now D1 is turned on. And you can see on the screen, you can take some action if the device is tilted from 0 degrees. So this is, these two lights will show when it is deviating from 0 degrees. And you can detect it if you use this two analog one and analog two that are already in the code.
line to print it and here you can use d1 state and you can take action you can put your f statement and this will turn this will be true if it detects that d1 is on and this d2 state is the one that is detecting when d2 is on the led so you can take some action but uh, if you don't want to use these two because they're uh, this is for d2 this pen and this is for d1 and they are occupying analog 1 and analog 2 so if you do need those alarm feature just disconnect these two pens and just use analog 0 and you do need to connect any wire to d1 here or to d2 so this way you can use only one analog if the analog pens are needed for other purpose please give me a feedback on my course by writing a review it's really appreciated thank you Please make sure to subscribe by clicking at the subscribe button in here. Thank you. Thank you for watching the tutorial from Robojax. If you learned something and found this useful, please thumb up as this will help my video in the search algorithm of YouTube. If you have comment or question, please post it at the comment section below. I try to answer and reply. And don't forget to subscribe so you get updates of my upcoming videos.